Welcome to what may just be the most luxurious and high-end A-frame cabin I've toured to date here on the channel. It has my dream kitchen inside, absolutely stunning interior, and also direct lakefront access. It's a 30-second walk to your own private dock right on the lake. So much to offer. Let's now dive into this stunning A-frame cabin down here in Georgia. Welcome to this absolutely gorgeous, ultra-modern A-frame cabin located in Georgia. You're going to park your car right here, and now we're gonna to begin to walk up to the front exterior of this cabin. I absolutely love the slick black paint job and how that contrasts so well with the orange deck right there. That's on the second floor and connected to the master bedroom. But now let's switch sides to the opposite end. This is out in the backyard, and this is by far my favorite angle of the exterior. You can see me here walking out into this gigantic deck in the backyard, but just look at all of these windows. It's so eye-catching. If we go up through the trees real quick as well, this is a bird's eye view of the cabin. Let's now go back down to the ground level. I love this angle. The cabin's just towering over everything. I also managed to get a fire pit going. There's enough seating here for six people just to hang out. And it's really tough to beat a backdrop like this. Just look at that cabin. You'll also notice now next to the fire pit, a very long path, and that leads to the lake. We're gonna go there in just a second. This angle kind of shows you how close the lake is to the cabin. Let's now begin to head over to the lake. So we're going to walk down this path. Just know it's a pretty steep decline, but the walk is short. And now you've arrived at your completely private dock. This is just yours. And this drone shot right here shows you how close the neighbors are. There are a bunch of lounge chairs all around the dock and on the opposite end. There are also some paddle boards and kayaks waiting for you. But this is called Lake Hartwell. It is such a beauty. Just look at it from this drone shot. That will do it for the exterior, so now it's time to head on inside. Welcome to the interior. This is the main hallway you're going to see as soon as you walk in. We'll start here in the first of three bedrooms. This is the smallest bedroom out of the three, but I loved all the details here, like all the cool things waiting for you on the nightstand. In this corner as well, there's this really interesting looking window and a modern painting. Next, straight across the hall, this is bedroom number two. It's slightly larger than the first bedroom. You have a desk waiting for you though in this corner. And then right next to the bed, I love the modern looking nightstand, the lamp. You have a bunch of really comfortable looking pillows as well. And now in that right hand corner, you have a mirror, some cool plants. And through that door, this is a closet. We'll walk further down the hall now and enter into the first of two bathrooms inside of this A-frame. I love this modern countertop setup. Opposite of that, this is then your lovely shower, some really bright and beautiful white subway tile. You have your toilet as well. And this last corner is your washer and dryer unit. Let's now go into the best part. This is the great room. And as we inch up, look at these gorgeous A-frame ceilings. This, as we pan from left to right, kind of gives you a better idea of this entire layout, but just look at how open this space is. On the left is your dining table and your kitchen area. Straight ahead is the hallway. And on the right-hand side is the entertainment area. We'll begin first in the kitchen. It truly feels like my dream kitchen. I think this actually belongs in a multi-million dollar New York City apartment. That's the vibe it gives off at times. But just look at the size of that countertop space. There is so much room to cook. Let's now go behind the counter to check out some more of the details in this kitchen. Beginning first in this corner, there is a ton of goodies here. Everything from your curry cups to breakfast bars to hot chocolate to coffee to tea. There is so much waiting for you here. And if you look up as well, you have plenty of glasses and mugs for any occasion. Now behind the counter, you have your dishwasher straight ahead. If you get a little bit closer, you have this gigantic sink. Absolutely loved the look of this thing. And now on the far end of the counter, this is your stovetop. Let's now finish up in the kitchen. Straight ahead is your oven. And there's also another very long countertop. It runs all the way down against that back wall. And it ends in that corner with all these snacks and the goodies. Last but not least, you have a guidebook, some really cool customized beer koozies, this incredible chocolate. I ate all of it, it was so yummy. Some coffee and a card. So the hosts are incredibly generous. 
Now, right next to the kitchen, this is your main indoor dining table. There's enough seating here for six people, and it comes with a pretty cool view looking back into the great room. Let's now venture into the opposite end of the great room. I will call this the entertainment area. I just absolutely was blown away by this interior design. I would seriously kill to have a home that looks like this someday. But you have plenty of seating options here. Those two little benches with the fur. On the left, that gorgeous green sofa that is straight ahead. Also these two really beautiful leather chairs over there on the right hand side. Straight ahead, of course, is your TV. There's also some cool books here, like a Tom Ford and a Gucci book. So you know, again, this is definitely a very luxurious listing, but this is a smart TV. It's a pretty gigantic television. So you have all of your Netflix, your Amazon, or HBO Max, whatever you might need is here. Finally, in this corner, you have a fireplace, actually, which is great for the colder months. That will do it for the interior on the first floor. We actually still have an entire second floor left though, still to explore. The last thing I'll showcase on the main floor is just the outdoor deck. We'll pop out here super quick. You have this outdoor dining table and this angle just kind of shows you how the A-frame is nestled amongst the trees. But this outdoor deck is actually really massive. You have the table again on the left, but if we pan to the right, you have all of this space open. Back now inside, that's it for the first floor. Let's now go and check out the second floor. Right next to those two leather chairs and the television is your staircase. So we're going to walk on up and you'll be first welcomed by this really cool I call chill out and reading space, really comfortable chair. And if you look over the railing, you'll we'll get this incredible view looking back down into the great room and just look at those windows. Now we're gonna walk over here and enter into the final area in this A-frame. I'm going to dub this the Master Suite. First up is the Master In-Suite bathroom. I loved all the flooring and the tiling, especially inside of the shower. And also in this corner, you have a really modern looking sink and mirror setup. Finally, we're now going to enter into your master bedroom. This is definitely one of the most uniquely designed bedrooms I've ever stayed in. I'm sure you're gonna notice all those windows and the glass panels, more on that in a second. This is the layout though. Through those sliding doors, this is actually an outdoor deck. You also have a dresser now back inside and plenty of closet space near the entrance. The bed area is very modern yet simple, but my favorite parts in this master bedroom by far is if you look up towards the ceiling, you're just gonna see countless windows letting in all of this incredible natural light. I thought it was just such a unique design and how the architects decided where to place each of these windows. The last feature I'll cover, which I'm sure you may have spotted, is that ladder, which leads up into the loft. So we'll hop up top here and get another really cool view of all of those windows. I mean, it does get much more A-frame than this with all of those angles. And then right behind me in this loft space is just this really cool area just to relax and kick back with the book or your coffee. Thanks for making it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I have my A-frame cabin playlist linked out in the video description. If you wanna check out more A-frame cabin tours, be sure to give this video a like as well and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week for another Airbnb tour.